Welcome back to week 28 of my Paragon Top 5 Plays. Remember to submit your clips to www.paragunas.com for a chance to feature in the series. We are also looking to add more people to the team to help with the series, so if you're passionate about Paragon and interested in getting involved, check the description below. Angry Bird Zero on Richter and his allies are down an inhibitor and the enemy team have taken the orb, which means they're in real trouble. Fortunately though, Angry Bird lands a fantastic pull on Gideon and with the follow up from his team, allow them to steal the orb to respawn their inhibitor. As their chimera goes to hand the orb in, a team fight breaks out in middle lane, where Grim uses his GTFO on Murdoch, but Angry Bird Zero makes a great block to save his ally. Hubbler 456 on Decca is about to assist her allies in pulling off a great wombo combo. She recognizes the danger that Rampage is in and rotates over to aid him. She throws down a containment fence catching every single enemy inside. The long arm of the law lands on three enemies, followed up by how it says make it rain and the gadget Tesla dome. Four enemies are instantly wiped out with the enemy Rampage the sole survivor. Unfortunately, he can't escape death and joins his allies in the graveyard. I see a lot of people say Narbash is useless, but Gate League is about to show us that you don't need to be an ADC to rack up some kills. The enemy team are attacking his tier 1 tower so he heads over to defend it. Up against the Rampage and the Twin Loss, he manages to stun Rampage under his tower to force him to take some damage. The enemy team are relentless however as they continue to push. Feeling super confident, Rampage dives in straight for the tower. All the minions are dead so Rampage now has tower aggro. Gaedlick pops his ultimate at the perfect time, slowing Rampage down and just as he's about to leave the tower range he gets knocked up and dies. Narbash then throws a stun on Twinblast who gets one shot by the tower. The perfect tower defense. Fours on Howitz and his team are grouping up to do the All Prime when their Murdoch decides to 1v5 everyone and dies. Howitz though lands a mine knocking two enemies out of position and fires his Make It Rain ultimate as his allies pile on the damage. However, they are unsuccessful in killing the tanky Chimera. They decide to retreat as they are outnumbered and have burnt their ultimates, but the enemy team try to force an engagement as the enemy steel lands a huge ultimate. Chimera ults him but it just tickles and Bellica gets a 4 man knock up. Things aren't looking good as the orange team gets split up. Steel falls while Howitzer is stuck dealing with Chimera. He uses his mind but it only knocks Chimera into the same direction as him. Somehow he manages to dodge the Chimera ult casually and heads to assist his allies. It's now a 4v2 but Howitzer aids his sparrow as he fires another make it rain, killing the enemy Bellica and getting steel quite low, allowing sparrow to finish him off. Chimera returns but this time targets Sparrow as Howitzer tries his best to absorb some of the damage, using his mind to try and peel for Sparrow. Unfortunately though Iggy comes in to clean her up, but not before Chimera goes down. Iggy is about to kill Howitzer but Murdoch makes up for his mistake with a fantastic long arm of the law to save Howitzer. One. Wayne on Chimera is going to do what I love all my allies to do push objectives, and this guy will push forever if he could. Having built up a huge amount of health regen stacks, Chimera decides to leap onto Murdoch under the enemy tower, securing the kill. Grux pulls him back under the tower but Muriel ults in to save him. Chimera races out of the tower, somehow managing to keep his stacks with health regen, and continues hitting on minions to boost his health regen even further. Now at full health, Chimera leaps onto Severok and starts doing some damage. Keep in mind that our Chimera has only spent 6 card points and only 2 of those card points are onto damage. He eventually gives up trying to kill Severog and starts to focus the tower. With the shields and health regen he's basically invincible at this point. Murdoch comes in to try and kill Chimera but he immediately regrets this decision as Murdoch becomes Chimera's next victim with some help from Muriel. Wayner continues to clear minions to further boost his health regen and this actually works perfectly because he has such bad wave clear and such little damage that allows him to continuously build up his stacks as he moves towards the next tower. Grox is back for round 2 as he pulls Chimera. He uses his ultimate but pretty much every hit from Grox is cancelled out by Chimera's insane health regen. Grux realizes that this is a battle he won't win and charges away only to have Chimera leap onto him as Murdoch lands a long arm of the law to finish him off. 
Chimera could pretty much sit here all day and tank this tower and that's exactly what he does until the tower falls. Howitzer uses his ultimate but Chimera just sits in it and soaks up the damage only to be back at full health a few seconds later. Howitzer gets caught but he uses a mine to knock Chimera away only they both end up going in the same direction. He leaps straight onto Howitzer and Murdoch is able to finish him off. Unfortunately, Severog knocks him into the inhibitor. He gets rooted but says if he's going down, he's taking Murdoch with him. And so he piles on the damage as he takes out Murdoch just before meeting his own doom. That was a fantastic run from Chimera, keeping his health regen alive for 3 minutes and pushing all the way to an inhibitor in just 11 minutes. This week's bonus clip comes from Mind Shaz. As his allies are pushing a tower, Chimera and him get knocked back by Iggy, who is on a slither of health. Mind Shaz says no problem as he lands a fantastic rock throw to secure a kill on Iggy. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Paragon Top 5 Plays. Smash that thumbs up button if you did. Submit your clips to paragooners.com and I'll see you guys soon.